Hello friends today we are going to start a very important topic of modern history that is Anglo Maratha wars these wars took place between the British East India Company and the Marathas but to understand why these wars happened what was their result and what was their impact we should know some important things about the Maratha empire so in today's video we will cover the details from the beginning of the Maratha empire till the third battle of Panipat in the map you can see the Deccan region and in the western part of Deccan region Marathi speaking people have always lived these people used to be warriors and they are called Marathas since the time of Alauddin Khilji in the 14th century this area used to be under Islamic rule but since 1645 Shivaji Maharaj had started a campaign to free this area from Islamic rule and in 1674 due to the efforts of Shivaji Maharaj an independent Hindu empire was established in the western region of Deccan as the Maratha empire and the king of this Maratha empire was Shivaji who gave himself the title of Shatrapati at Raigarh Fort he He appointed eight ministers for the administration of Maratha Empire, and these council of ministers were called Asht Pradhan. Among these Asht Pradhans, Pant Pradhan used to be the head, who was also called Peshwa. So, in a way, the Peshwa was like the prime minister, and Shivaji's position was like a president. After Shivaji the Maratha empire expanded manifold during the time of his grandson Shahuji Maharaj he himself was a strong ruler under him one after the other such peshwas came to the Maratha empire due to which the Maratha empire was able to touch new heights similarly one such peshwa was Baji Rao who remained peshwa from 1720 to 1740 Baji Rao was considered the greatest peshwa among all the peshwas in Maratha history he did not lose a single battle in his military career of 20 years and in his time to manage the growing Maratha empire he formed the Maratha confederacy in this gaikwad was met the Maratha chief for Baroda and its surrounding areas he gave the responsibility of Nagpur to Bhosle Peshwa himself was looking after Pune Holkar was given the responsibility of Indore and Sindhya was given the responsibility of Gwalior and its surrounding areas every Maratha chief had to administer and rule his area of influence in the name of Maratha king who was Shahuji at that time so this arrangement was done in Maratha confederacy Now Baji Rao had 3 children Balaji Baji Rao who was called Nana Saheb Raghunath Rao also called Raghoba and with second wife of Baji Rao that is Baji Rao and Mastani had a son Shamsher who also had another name Krishna Rao Apart from this Baji Rao also had a brother whose name was Chima ji Appa Chima ji's son's name was Sada Shiv Rao Bhau in 1740 Baji Rao got a very high fever because of which he died After Baji Rao's death in August 1740 Shahu ji met Baji Rao's eldest son Bala ji Baji Rao the Peshwa of Maratha empire so Bala ji Baji Rao became Peshwa and his three brothers started advancing the Maratha empire for him His three brothers Raghoba, Shamsher and Sada Shiv Rao Bhau all three of them were powerful military commanders in those days that is around 1748 the power of the Mughal emperor in Delhi was decreasing continuously the king of Afghanistan Ahmad Shah Abdali was constantly attacking the north western region of India in fact he had put his son in Punjab and Kashmir The Mughal emperor knew that if anyone could help him it was Maratha so when the Mughal emperor asked for help Peshwa Balaji Baji Rao agreed to help the Mughal emperor in return of which in many regions the Mughal emperor had to give chot to the Marathas means one fourth share of revenue collection had to be shared with the Marathas in those areas In this way in 18th century Maratha confederacy had become the biggest power in India and then in December 1749 Shahu ji Maharaj also died now after his death there was no big and influential personality in his family who could give direction or guide the peshwas so peshwa bala ji baji rao became the de facto ruler of maratha and on the other side the condition of the mughal empire in delhi was continuously declining in 1752 the rohilas of doab also rebelled against the mughal emperor that is the mughal emperor was being attacked from outside as well and on top of that he was completely disturbed by internal conflicts 
conspiracies and rebellions again he sought help from the marathas so this time peshwa balaji baji rao got him to sign an agreement in this agreement of 1752 the marathas took the mughal emperor under their shelter and said that in case of any external aggression and internal rebellion maratha will help him in return the mughal emperor gave the governorship of agra and ajmer to peshwa and the rights of chauth collection of the districts of multan lahore sindh hisar and muradabad were also given to the marathas now the problem was that abdali had met his son timur shah durrani sit in lahore he was not ready to give chauth to marathas so peshwa issued an order that i want lahore so raghoba went towards lahore and attacked timur shah durrani after this attack timur shah durrani ran away and now peshwa has got possession of lahore This incident met Ahmed Shah Abdali an enemy of the Marathas and later the battle of Panipat took place between Ahmed Shah Abdali and the Marathas This was the third battle of Panipat which took place in January 1761 Let's see who fought on behalf of Peshwa in the third battle of Panipat We know that Peshwa had three brothers apart from this Peshwa also had three sons and the name of those sons were Vishwas Rao Madhav Rao and Narayan Rao so in the third battle of Panipat Sadashiv Rao Bhau Shamsher and Vishwas Rao fought on behalf of the Marathas apart from this the chieftain of the Maratha confederacy also participated in this battle but despite all this the afghan army was much bigger and well equipped than the army of marathas Ahmed Shah Abdali won in this battle and in this battle Shada Siv Rao Bhau Vishwas Rao and Shamsher all three were killed from the Maratha side the defeat of third battle of Panipat was a big setback for Peshwa Balaji Baji Rao he had lost his brothers his son and many of his important commanders in this battle it was a big shock for him after 6 months of this battle Peshwa also passed away Now it has to be seen that who will become the next Peshwa and will the Marathas be able to take back their lost power and prestige and in the meanwhile such a situation will arise which will lead to the first Anglo-Maratha war and we will see all this in the next video which will be the first Anglo-Maratha war to understand Indian history and Indian polity in detail do follow Bookstava playlist link is given in the description box thank you for watching Bookstava